Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Hey, 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 folks. How's everybody doing? Are you guys here? Are you guys in tune? Are you guys ready for another great show? Um, if you could help us out a little bit and press uh, share right now. Um, you can do a watch party. We'll appreciate that too. The only things that we want to let you know is that if you do a watch party, we will not be able to see the comments for um, the folks that are commenting on your live. So if you can still jump over here to our comments page, um, Love Advocate page, and just kind of put your comments there, we would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start a watch party too. Oh, you are. I am. I, I, I'm, really, I'm really loving that color. It looks really cute. I was yeah. it, but I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Key and T back here again. Back here again. You're back here again. And what about shirt today? Huh? What about what our shirt today? Yeah. You say, I'm a whole wife. Yes, baby. Yes. I'm going to move my chair to the side. And for that. Stand up. Last, last. I see you, okay? I'm doing a little fashion over <laughs> today. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Are you somebody short? <laughs> what boxes do you check for? Oh, honey. And, and yeah. what does that mean? That's right. And our shirts, uh, courtesy of uh, Don't Sweat Me, Shop Don't Sweat Me. We're going to post our stuff. Oh, yeah, but we're going to yeah. groove. Y'all know how we're going to start this Friday. Right. Music for a little bit. Is that good, good Sam? You can hear it. Yes, I love it. Let me pull my drink. Turn it up a little bit. Pull your drink, ladies. We're going to get into it today. Hey, Ron. You hear the song? <laughs> oh, no. I know you're not putting Brother Rome in on the spot. Listen, I'm somebody's wife. I got to let him know. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I, proud. I got to let him know. I am. I am. I did work to get I work to get I worked hard to get this. Right? I'm going to try to come over here and kiss me on live. We on live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, get off my drink. There you go, man. You know, this, this, I'm gonna say this to you. This feels good because it's been an intense week. It's been a rough day. Yeah. yeah. With some nice posts. And this song is suitable, right? For what we're going through, what our men are going through. Yeah. For a second. Shut up, Ty. <laughs> Karaoke. <laughs> 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 Or, or a few. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Who is that? Let's. What does she have? Hey, lady. <laughs> I got my fan. Where's your fan? Oh, you know what? I do need to get the fan. I do need to get the fan. I have an assistant today. Can you hold I me? Have I have an assistant. Do you? No. My assistant is gone. Oh. Yeah. And I'm yeah. I'd have been out in that heat all day. Giving back to the community. One little piece at a time. But I took Thank me you. I took me a shower before I came on live. Good. It's a good thing. Nobody wants to smell you. And I got my sweat rag. Yeah. My yeah. sweat rag in honor of my, my brother Antoine that's passed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. About the sweat rag. Let's see. We gotta come up with some rules. Why you going over the disclaimers and you I need you. Okay. I need you. I need you. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Wow. So you got a couple things you got to go over this time because we had some feedback. Uh, I think one of the elders, we were using yeah. some profanity. 
Yes, you and, were cursing too much. And our free expression. You were right? cursing too much. <laughs> wait, wait. That's she said, you know, what, 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 I, okay, I'll let you do what you have to do because, you know, free expression is free expression. I'm not here to be answered. Hey, listen, we're going to have free expression the way we do it. Um, but, you know, we're going to do some housekeeping rules. So right now, you know, just um, just apologize, right, for last week if we, um, you know, offended anyone from our free expression or our choice of words. But this is a Freedom Friday type event, and we're going to let our hair down and hang with our girlfriends and chit-chat. So it may be some words that come out that, you know, we apologize in advance. And this is the only <laughs> time I'm, apologizing. I'm apologizing on episode two. Okay, yeah, I think we, we should, yeah. And we, this is free, ladies. Let your hair down. We want to engage with you. We want to have conversation with you. Yeah, yeah. We with you. Um, if you don't feel safe, same rules applies last week. Not even rules, same agreements, right? If you don't want to comment um, because you don't want to, um, folks to see you and folks who's nosy and we already know that, that's cool. Send us an inbox. Send me a text message. You can text me. Um, I'll put my number across the bottom. Um, and you know, we'll read your comments as our own so that no one knows um, you know, what comments you made because we're actually here to speak on not just our experience as women, um, but we want to hear from you guys and your experience too because we're girlfriends and we're here to chit-chat on tea. Yes, yes. This is your yes, new this yes. is your new this is your new village here. This is Thank the new you. village. Thank you. One, right? I know. So last show it was all about the whole implied roles in terms of motherhood, yes. right? We yes. had a good conversation though. We talked about a whole lot of gender stereotypes. I think we covered a, yeah, we touched on some 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 uh delicate topics, right? <laughs> So, but I, I, T and I appreciate so much of the feedback. I think we got like over 300 views on for the yes, first, show. first show. Yeah, for our first show. So thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're so yes, appreciative. You. Like we are. And I know like one of the viewers, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to start sharing some of you guys' comments anonymously, right? Right. So one of the viewers were saying, you know, with the, with regards to the show today, being a wife, but I think you could do wife and and mother. I think this could kind of be motherhood and wife. But she says she feels like she does everything. Like yeah. she's like literally like, I feel like I am like the person that controls the budget. I'm like the secretary. I make sure everybody gets where they need to be. And she's like, I was kind of sort of raised like that, or as we might say, reared like that. Right. But it gets overwhelming. It does. It, it gets to be to the point where sometimes she's just like, it would be nice to like, you know, kind of take a break and know that it's not going to all come tumbling down. Right. Absolutely. So like, I don't know, like, um, I, I guess, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we lose <laughs> you? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying like. You froze. Okay, you froze. Say your question again. You froze. So, like, my question is, I guess when I'm thinking about it, right, when I'm just, you know, did how did the guys get like that? Like, did we spoil them? Did we, like, I mean, because we we start this, they kind of get used to this. This is, you know, serious, the course of the relationship, there's opportunity for, um, for separation where you can say, okay, you have this and I have that. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of us women have control issues. Mm hmm <laughs> You. You too. So I, so, I don't know. No, let me not do that. No, I, I definitely, I, I own it. I own it. Like, I know dang on well. I have control issues. And so, I don't know, ladies. Like, is it that, so you feel overwhelmed? Are, are we kind of bringing that on ourselves or, you know, because of our control issues? Or are these guys just lazy and don't, I don't need to do it. She got it. I don't know. That's a good question. Um. Hmm. I'm just saying like and then I think the other part is like some of us that literally are like we'll let them do it but uh, the first right. time they don't do it like I do it listen then you might <laughs> then you gotta go back. Mm -hmm. but I think part of that is just I think just our in, mm, inherited role maybe as Ooh. and the caretaker and you know, all of that stuff I think that all of that just comes with that role right of like um, we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to kind of just do 
everything because that's just in our nature to get things done. Um, especially if it's things like domestic or parental or mothering or yeah. you know, yeah. those kind of things. And sometimes, yeah, even though we're exhausted and even though we're tired, it, I, that's that mom guilt. I think, yeah. I think all of that goes to the mom guilt that we talked about last week, right? Because yeah. You now, I'm freaking exhausted, right? <laughs> yeah, you've, I, been, you've been giving out meals today. Listen, and right? I've probably been up since probably about five o'clock. Right? Yeah, and, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, side note. Don't be, don't be even remotely trying to reach out to me five thirty six o'clock in the morning. Listen, I, uh, I I'm not. Yeah, listen, I'm working yeah. from home. I'm, a, I'm teleworking. Okay, so with your eyes on the phone. Show, what? You can answer the telephone. That's how that go. No, no. Listen, she be getting too excited sometimes for these shows and her little last minute thing. And I just want to let you know, like, listen, I'm on tele, I'm on telework schedule. Therefore, it's six o'clock. That's too early. But anyway, back to. <laughs> Back to what you were saying. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I mean, but I feel her, you know, and um uh Anitra said, well, Crystal said, hey, Amen, she feel her, right? So uh, yeah. her, Anitra said she understand all of it. We want to do all of it. You know, they, yeah. what you say, Anitra, they spoiled and we and we spoiled them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we do. And we then do. said, you know, she feel like a woman just wants things a certain way. And I think that's true too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think we are. I think we're particular about our homes. Especially. But I also think that, you know, a lot of that just comes from us as women not knowing how to pull back and not knowing how to kind of pull back and just allow things. Um, you know, like, is, is your house going to burn down if you sleep past 9 a.m. on a Saturday? Uh, what the? Girl, can't nobody sleep past no 9 o'clock? Who oh, can't sleep past 9 o'clock on a Saturday? Oh, hell no. I up on oh, Saturday. You're Girl, trying. No, no, no. no. Listen, do y'all sleep? My hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Do y'all sleep mm -hmm. on Saturdays? I mean, because we are teleworking for the most part <laughs> during the week early and still going to bed late. Okay, so on Saturday, I'm sleep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. People sleep late. You don't. Well, it goes back to the way that we were reared, right? So, like on Saturdays. My mom, we got up early, we did chores, we did what we needed to do. If we had, sometimes we had choir rehearsal, so we would go to church, we have choir rehearsal, and you know, your whole day was spent in church for the most part, right? But but I'm just saying, like, no, I, I, I need to get up and get things done. I need to make sure they get up and get things done. Like, no, you can't be in a bad pass now. You try. I disagree. I'm okay. just, and we're going to agree to disagree. <laughs> I mean, and maybe, I mean, and I mean, as a wife, I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure that things stay. I mean, I'm not rigid with the schedule, but in terms of like consistency, like consistency is important to me in my mm -hmm. home. And I feel mm -hmm. like my husband, it, he, he kind of depends on me for that. So yes, I've spoiled him. I used, to say, yes. I used to say, yeah, y'all was getting. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but but the other thing is, like, I guess it's whatever works in the house. Because, I mean, I know that there are some men that get up and they do help their wives around the house. Or maybe they in the yard, you know. So, like, mm -hmm. a typical Saturday for us is I'm up and I'm assigning chores, right? And Michael is out. Um, you know, landscaping, and if he's doing something around the house, he does most of like the nasty, ooky, gooky. So I guess that's kind of sort of apply role, right? Mm -hmm. Is that an apply role? Because like, I, I, I think he's supposed to be out there doing it. You know and what I'm that's saying? Role. I'm just saying. So anyway, I think this is a good <laughs> anyway, right? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think, but I think that's a good segue into your piece. So guys, we're gonna switch it up a little bit, right? So in the beginning, this was about my journey, this, you know, my free expression. But I think that y'all guys need to understand the dopeness that is this woman right over here. Am I pointing Don't the right way? Right. Am I pointing the right way to sign? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's not I wasn't pointing the right way. I was pointing this way. So anyway. <laughs> um, so T wrote this piece. And when she read it to me, I got goosebumps. I was like, you have to do that. Like, you got to do that, right? It, first of all, it speaks volumes to the, 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 the dopeness of you as a woman, as a mental health advocate, as a mother. Like, you're just a total package. I have so much respect for you. I love you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but you got to share this piece called Rebel Wife. 
Listen, it's called Rebel Wife, right? So you got to share this, and then we got to let it marinate a little bit, and then we got to talk about it. And then we're going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Here we go. You need to take a sip? You need to take a sip? Yeah, I'm going to take a shot, because I've never shared like this kind of stuff publicly, so bear with me. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, you got to at least pour it in the... A- See, why didn't you at least pour it in the glass? Do you, you got to I got wine in my glass. I wasn't trying to embarrass the people that drink wine, like for real, for real. So don't embarrass me on here. We is on live. <laughs> excuse okay. us. All we, right. So excuse us. Um, <laughs> let me take a sip of water because I see them do this on TV when they um about to speak. Hold on. <laughs> you want to do facial rec- uh like loosening exercises? Um All right, here we go. Okay. The rebel wife. Growing up, I saw an example of marriage that forged my image of wife. My grandparents' relationship gave much insight into what give and take looked like in the relationship. Sometimes one gave more than the other. But in the end, it all balanced out. Well, yep, that sounds pretty good, right? But what about all the other stuff, right? So as I sit back and reflect on both my marriages, I realize that wifehood is some ghetto shit, okay? No, for real. (laughs) So check this out. So sometimes your power is out, right? Because sometimes you just don't have any more energy and it's been spent on everyone else. Sometimes you go to bed hungry because there just isn't enough food, time or interest in eating after working a whole day and tending to the other familiar needs. Sometimes yeah. the crash of life fills up and overflows, and we just don't have the space to share what that looks like. So mm. pile up on our emotional floor. Signed up for this shit. Because this was not included in the YouTube clip I watched on how to become a wife or in the fine print at the bottom of my marriage license. Neither of them. One piece of wifely advice that my grandmother shared is to never start something that you're not willing to continue. Mm. This is the main five things. One, don't start asking for permission for things that help fulfill you as a woman, because this will be the expectation moving forward. Two, don't start spoiling a man that doesn't spoil you, because this will teach him how about how you value yourself. Mm. Don't to allow any number three, don't start to allow anyone to muffle your voice. Off the back of women that society is standing and thriving, and my husband should recognize that strength in me. Mm. Four, don't start to allow my husband to minimize my right to happiness, equality, and freedom because I was a woman before a wife, and this must be my first principle. Five, don't start to lose yourself. I'm going to start over. This is the important one. Five, don't start to lose yourself in a relationship because some things are never found. Some might not understand why I move the way that I move, but as long as I know me and I stay true to me, I can only be T, the rebel wife. Yes, yes. Woo! I felt that in my spirit. I did you now, I thank you. I felt that in my spirit. In your spirit, I have to do a face one. Listen, T. I think you I think you spoke to a lot of us women right now. I'm curious. Oh, like, I, I have you know me. I have so much that I, I yeah. Woo! It was oh, yeah, I you. agree with yeah. Spoiling a man, I mean that whole notion. But where were you? Like I if you can. Mm-hmm. Right. Where like what inspired you, you to write that piece? Like what where were you at, like emotionally, um, spiritually? Like, where where were you when you sat down and wrote that piece? Because, again, it, it it resonated with so much of, the, you know, so much of what I want to say, but maybe I don't say. Mm-hmm. You know, so so where, so okay. Where was I? I was in yeah. trouble. I was in trouble because. <laughs> <laughs> so last week I made a couple of comments, right? Um, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, last week I had made some um, comments about just kind of how, how I move, right? And mm-hmm. I basically said that I moved the way that I moved and I kind of 
do what I feel like. And even though I said other things after that, I think that's the piece that kind of, um, particularly with my husband. And so after the after the video was over, um, we actually sat down and we watched it together because um, it was important to me that he, you know, listened to the show and kind of gave feedback and, you know, just like, had dialogue. Yeah. Um, and so one of his comments that he made as a, what he felt about some of the comments that I made, um, you know, it, it started a conversation for us because the way that he felt is the exact same reason why we started having these conversations. Um, and so that allowed us just to have some dialogue and some conversation about wow. you know, it's not important to the outside world or what the outside world views as our marriage um, because he gets me and I get him. Um, and that trust plays a large part of that. And so I am able to move the way that I move because there is trust. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't minimize his role as my husband. It doesn't minimize his um, input into my role as his wife or like the movement that I make. But because he understands those five points that I just read about, because those have all been my principles, right? And some mm -hmm. of that was learning. So, you know, in my second right. marriage, so some of that was my learning that I had to pick up from my experience from my first marriage. Um, yeah. but it's also just like, you know, being staying true to who I am as a woman and as an independent woman with a as husband that stands beside me, you know, not in front yeah. of me and I do not, I'm not behind him, but we stand side by side as we kind of venture through this thing of life. Um, and so I wrote that piece after our conversation and I was kind of sitting there kind of just having a conversation on the porch and kind of just reflecting. And I wanted mm -hmm. to get it out so that people can kind of understand that. And I use the word rebel and it's really important yeah. because um, I don't fit, I guess, into a traditional role. Mm. role Ooh, of what, what does wife. that look like? What, what does that look like? I don't really cook. Right. What does traditional, like right. we make me need to throw that out. Mm -hmm. What does what a traditional life yeah. look like? I mean, it's 2020. Okay. Right. Okay. And, so, and I'll, then we I'll, can pick up like, what does tradition mean? Like what decade is that? <laughs> right. I mean, and, and, and maybe even like, I know I'm reading um, mom. I told you, well, we're mom both reading mom, mom AF, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys want it. Mom AF is, is really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm at, <laughs> I know. And it's like she, she, she has this part in the book where she talks about her, her father-in-law telling her husband that, eh, you know, you got a woman. She works. She's doing all of this. She's always out. She's always about. But you know, you, you, you kind of got the short end of the stick because you should have had a more southern, mm -hmm. you know, because they come down a more southern wife that is, you know, she takes care of home. She makes care, whatever that means, take care of mm -hmm. home. And so she basically told him, like, because you have a working wife that is not the stay at home my wife that, you know, just tends to the kids in the home all day, that somehow he's gotten a shorter end of the stick. And I love how she popped back. She, mm -hmm. she was like, oh, honey, you're lucky. You have a Maryland wife. No, actually, you got a B more. You got a Baltimore wife. So you even extra lucky. I said, oh, yes, 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 yes. No, your so, Baltimore ass ate that up. No, shout, out to, shout out to my auntie, uh, 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 Pam. <laughs> Who who gifted me that book? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm doing, it. and um, I know there's a lot of good reads. Mm -hmm. Maybe incorporate that into the next show. Like good things that we're reading. Just kind yeah. of, you know, we need to do that. Yeah, um, out there, friends. Are y'all sipping? I'm sipping. I'm yeah, sipping. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. I yeah, like my new cup that I got. Cause y'all mm. know, like hell on Amazon. Look what I got. Oh, for what, what is it? What does it say? Oh, for fox sake. Depends on how you say ah, it. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. <laughs> so but and like, I will let any look, any look, I'll let anybody know right now. Like I really had it in my mind that I was gonna do like big girl drinks. Like that's what T calls it, big girl drinks. Right. I, I will tell you this. Compared to my village, which consists of you and Zeta and Cece and Tony and all these wonderful people that, is, that like our listen, shirt. Too. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> I, yeah. I talked a good game the other day, though, right? I know, but I I, I had to resort to, you yeah, know. Yeah, we are we a whole wife. But look, I, speaking of wife, no, look. Yeah. So we, I'm curious to know, like, because we also talked about, like, this space, like, in a house and, like, you know, these sacred spaces that folks have, right? Yeah. We know that the men have the man cave. 
The only she shit is on a daggone commercial, right? And he burnt it down. I'm, I'm going on the record to say the husband burnt down her she shit, but that's neither here nor there. But <laughs> ladies, Listen. you guys have a space in your home that is yours. You know, do you mm-hmm. that you um, unwind, that you do your meditation in, do you do your prayers in, that you just, it's your space, you know? Because men will say you got the rest of the house. That's Girl, right. listen. Listen, listen, listen. listen. That, 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 listen. So that, <laughs> that is exactly what Michael said. He was like, you know, you've got the living room and the dining room and, you know, you guys do, I, this is my spot. I'm like, but listen, that's a community spot. It's because a, that's quick, a side note, what's up with them um household gifts? Don't give me no household nothing for my birthday. <laughs> I don't want no new pots, yeah. pot cans, <laughs> vacuum cleaners, deep fries. No. <laughs> that is a household gift. That's housewoman. <laughs> don't, don't give me nothing. <laughs> so what's up, ladies? Come on, y'all talk to us. Where y'all at? Hey, look, oh, my gosh. Best friend, best friend. That's, uh, not, that's, friend. that's my best friend. Yes, oh, yes. Listen. I, I, the you bathroom. know, I, the bathroom. That segue. Look, look at this right here. Look at this. Yeah, right. yeah. Actually, Victoria the bathroom. Says the the bathroom. Look at this and we're gonna come back. Let me see. Okay. Can... Hold on. Be right back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely the bathroom. You know, yeah. I guess the bathroom is kind of sort of my sanctuary. Check this out. <laughs> Can you hear it? Turn up a little teeny bit more. Yeah, I can hear it. What's that? <laughs> and he's still talking some more. Gave them your bathtub. Don't give them your cookies. Pepperidge Farm Milano. Save something for yourself. Save something for yourself. <laughs> now, come on. That's crazy, right? Yeah, <laughs> girl. Listen, I know that happens to everybody. I know that happens yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Even now, Leilani is almost thirteen. She would be thirteen, I think, in sixteen days. I could be off five days. <laughs> the bathroom. I can't go in the bathroom. She got to come in. There. She got to make a TikTok. She got to come in there and do her edges. She got to come in there and brush her hair. She got to come in there and have a conversation. She got to show me all these friends. Look, can I use the bathroom? And you have two bathrooms, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> two exactly. Cool bathrooms. And I could disappear to the one in the basement. She will find. I mean, in, on this level, she will find me. <laughs> she will find me. Know, listen, she you said, think you got something? Hey, Tish. Hey, Tish. Listen, you think you got something? Listen, honey, it's three to live up in here. You got one, three plus Michael. Okay. And if all of them come over, my entire squad, that's six. I got three bonus daughters, three of my own, three biological. Listen, I don't you know. Grand I, <laughs> listen, I'm going to tell you what my. <laughs> I'm, listen, she understands she's been there too. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you where my, where my spot is, where my sacred space is. You better not say it loud because Mike can watch this. <laughs> Yes, and we'll talk about we'll, we'll have to talk about Michael. He watched this as well, right? Um, I know the first show. I'm sorry, he watched the first show. I know where my space is in my house, my sacred space. And where is that? It's in my mind, in my dreams. It does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It does not. That's it right. does not fucking exist. That's hey, you know. Tish, mine is it the car too. Tish, last week, last week I told them last week I sit in the car and eat snacks and stuff too. Listen, if I sit in the damn car too long, they're going to think something wrong and start calling the phone. You out, you outside. Tori are going to just come out there. Mommy, what, what you doing sitting in the corner? Yeah, park around the corner, sis. <laughs> I'm stuck in track yeah, for about 35 okay. minutes. I'm well, let's good. talk about this whole notion of the man cave because we can never live in any house without Michael having one. Now, I will say this. I do not. Okay, so I know this is a trick. Okay, so I do not like clinginess, right? So mm-hmm. it, it does work for me that Michael has his own space, right? It, it, it really does in many ways because I have to say I have most of the closet. 
He would probably say I have all the suit in the closet. I think he might have a show in there. Well, yeah. the closet is in a whole nother room. So right. it's, it's the same with him. His, his stuff's <laughs> in the man cave, right? And um, I have most of the dresser. Yeah, most of them. I see too. I, most I have most of the dresser. I definitely do, right? But my thing is like when you come into his man cave, there's rules. There's rules. Now, if in fact I have the living room and the dining room as my sacred space, as they say, it rules. Well, I need some damn rules too. There should be rules. It should. It should be. It should be. It should be rules. Just like listen, if I try to pick up a piece of lint off of his floor, don't touch it. Don't come down here moving stuff. It didn't. No, don't. I'm like, really, really. I can't pick trash up. No, you cannot. I got a certain day that I clean. Okay. All right. So. Tish want a whole shag cop. But Tish, I want a shag cop and my attic ain't finished all the way, but I'm going to fix it. And that's going to be my girl attic. <laughs> I'm going to have a shag cop. I want a little, um, one of them little air, air things you sit on. But I think also like the bigger, like the bigger picture is self-care, right? Like, right. I, but, but the word is used a lot, but I don't think like women really understand. Like some, some women don't know what that look like. I'm still... Mm -hmm trying to figure out what that looks like for me mm -hmm. right without the mom minus the mom deal mm -hmm. right so like self-care for me is like you know is that especially self-care during COVID what I, <laughs> listen restaurants outside five o'clock today right today right so today right yeah. yeah 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 so today you can maybe sit outside if the wait's not too long and who's in the world I'm not yeah, and it's about the thunderstorm, so I don't know what that means with the weather. But the world is just starting to open back up a little bit, and mm -hmm. we still have to practice this social distancing and all these things. So then what does self-care look like? It used to be I'd go get a manicure and, a, you know, a pedicure and, a, you know, chatting my feet rub, you know, things like that. But those things are shut down now. So I was, you know, killing my kids while doing my own tips <laughs> this weekend. Um and so I don't really know what that looks like anymore. I want to a quiet P right now. Let a quiet P is self-care doing <laughs> if you yeah. can pee with peas right now, Tish, I feel you. I know it's I feel you. I feel you. I done I done trained myself to pee twice a day. <laughs> In the morning before everybody wake up, and then at night when everybody go to bed. So I think like yeah. the, <laughs> It'll be interesting in the comments, you guys. Think about it um, as the show starts to wind down and we and we close out. Like, think about what does self care look like for you guys? Um, mm -hmm. We we want to hear from you because I, I'm I'm lost. I'm like I, I don't know what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. T, well, I don't know. I don't know. T, T, we'll just have to hear from them. What? I, what does oh, self care yeah. look like? Yeah, drop, self -care it look like drop it in the yeah, comments. Yeah. Cause we come back, we come back through the week and we read these comments. Um, we appreciate all the different shares and stuff that you guys do through the I week. What other do. comments? We appreciate it. But look, this one I want to ask them this one right here, cause this is what you've been dying to ask people. <laughs> this is what we want to know the question for. So y'all might have noticed. Let me go ahead and throw this out. <laughs> y'all may have noticed that um, this chick over here. So I pointed the right way. This chick over here is beautiful the gods. Okay. <laughs> you know, tap my thing up. Yeah, I know my copper tone back. She's beautiful the gods. Okay. She might as well do she might as well do one of these. Okay. <laughs> Get it. There it is. You know, <laughs> so she trying to show off. She know I ain't she know I don't really wear makeup because I'm that listen. Shout, shout out. Listen. Okay. Shout out okay. to Victorious. Yes. Shout out you to Victorious <laughs> Green. For yeah. doing this quick look in like 30 it's minutes. Now. It's cute though. It's cute. Ask your question though, because you want you want to hear from them this. So it's COVID. It's it's co so here's the thing, ladies. Okay. I'm playing with this idea. Again, let me let me know. So it's COVID. Is it we have this whole like coronavirus outbreak pandemic new normal type thing going on? So we used to do date nights. Like I know Michael and I used to go out on a date. It'd be a Friday, long week. I'd come home, put something cute on. we go to the comedy factory, go to a place, wherever. Just go out. We can't go to them places no more. Right, because we used to do silent disco hard. And hip hop. Right. And so all of that. Right. So here's the thing. Do you guys, like, what do you guys do to feel sexy? What do you guys do to feel desirable? 
to mm-hmm. your significant other, your boyfriend, your boo thing, your show at it. Your girl, girl. Right. Or your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Your boyfriend. Right. Like what what do you do? Now, I, I mean, is it important for you to still stay desirable to not only your your significant other, but for yourself too? Because I know when Victoria does this, I feel like, oh honey, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I do. I do. I might get a, a a little extra twist in my hips, you know, especially if I know my man is looking. Right. Period. Just, so is that a still is that still important? Like, even though you can't go out, should you still put the put the face on? I think whatever you normally would have you done make yourself feel sexy, right? Because the thing is, it's like before COVID, who was you getting sexy for? Sexy for yourself, or was you getting sexy for your partner? And so, if you was getting sexy for both, well, shoot, you still got to have one. So, like, if you was getting sexy for both, then you still got to get sexy because it's co- shut down and shut down. You still looking in the mirror. Listen, you still put on work clothes every morning. Listen. I, I have to do that, y'all. I have to do that so I can stay, oh. stay engaged. If Maria is in here, Maria, let, let them know. It's dressed down casual Friday. Okay, so we already know. We already know. So she dripping and sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Right, and we know. We see the photo too, honey. We already know. Props <laughs> <laughs> oh, We love it. Listen, love but, it. but here's the funny part. So here's the funny part. Yeah, look so good. In preparation for this. Huh? I said Tish was saying look good for herself. I'm with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. A little bit of oil on my skin, honey. <laughs> Brush these teeth. And I'm sexy as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. Her her my, my sexy is like a stiletto. Hers is like a converse. This I limited mean, edition. Give me a oh, new shot, a new limited- or a new van. <laughs> sexy as hell. I, in fact, I think I actually I, I'm gonna I'm send you some that I, I think you would like. I, I'll be on the lookout for. This girl is like a shoe, a shoe, a tennis shoe hoarder. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but you know, but ladies, but okay. Okay. hold on. Let me read toys. Take a hot shower, put a mask on, not the face mask, not the not the mask, on, mask off. Put on some makeup, throw on a cute outfit, oh lingerie and all. You gotta say lingerie, some lingerie and all. Take some sexy pics, but oh. she said, but the gag is I'm doing all this for myself. And if someone else gets to see it, then that's the treat for them. Hello. Oh, Hello. honey. Yes. Yes. COVID be damn. Hello. COVID ain't stopping nothing over here. <laughs> <laughs> that is so that's well, you know, here's the funny part. So I got my bubble bus, right? Because, you know, I get dressed every day for work. You know this. You know this. I get up and literally I watch I, I, I watch Jay go, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm getting ready for work, right? Mm. And, and she's like, you're mm. going to sit at the table. Shut up. It don't matter, right? So mm. I asked Michael in preparation for this show, because I know it looks like we're freestyling, guys, but we really have to do a whole lot of planning for the sentence, but whatever. So <laughs> anywho, so I asked him, I said, do you think that I, I still get sexy for you? You know, even though, you know, we're not going anywhere. He right. was like, well, uh, nah. I said, what you mean, nah? Right? He said, because you get you do all of that during the day and the midday. By the time I come in from work, you done already put your night clothes on. <laughs> it's after six o'clock. You done put your night clothes on. And all I see is a little, you know, Victoria's Secret little nightgown type thing. And I was like, listen, my mouth went, so you never get to see what no, I come in. You, it's timing, ladies. It's timing, right? Mm-hmm. So, anyway, so when he said that, I went upstairs and I did some things last night. Don't worry about that. That's not PG thirteen or PG or rated R. But anyway, oh, I got some comments from my watch party. Let me go through them real quick. <laughs> I completely forgot. Adam did all this at the beginning. Tell people watch a watch party. I forgot I started one. Y'all know I'm slow. Excuse me. Let me step. <laughs> Y'all see what it say? Oh, for fox sake! <laughs> what they talking right. about? So, so Brittany said, "Yeah, we got issues receiving the help that we need because we're doing it all." That was from earlier. Yeah, 
Nicole said, listen, her 23-year-old coming to buy for more than her two-year-old, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy said, all her kids, when they was young, they come sit by the door of the bathroom. Listen, this what? kid, they disrespectful. You, they disrespectful. Right, right now, my cousin says she lucky she got young men. Didn't she get lucky? Oh. Yes, oh. Wendy, we need a she shed. Absolutely. Um, yes, we got our fans because you know I'm fluffy. And I need to tell y'all that I got a whole bedroom blowing right here on the side. I ain't even gonna tell y'all that. You're Make fluffy me. and I'm 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 thick em, so we both yeah. Nika <laughs> said she get real cute. She do, she be on Instagram hard. She look at herself in the mirror and be like, Hey beautiful, and then she Ooh. goes to Bay. Yes, oh, yes. Go show off for Bay Nika. Yes. I'm going to go show off for Bay too because I'm like, you see this nice shirt that I went all the way up in Marlboro to pick up today? Oh, listen, listen. Uh, Shout uh, out to Don't Sweat Me. I listen. have to say, definitely came I through. love all my tees. I love all of them. The other one yeah. that I wore yeah. as well. But so um, we done kept these ladies a long time today, and we and we want to keep y'all engaged, right? But we want to hear from y'all. We want to we want to hear this feedback in our comments. Like we said, we go back and we watch these. Um, yeah. and comments. We've got tons of inboxes. Tons yeah. of inboxes. Um, this week alone, I've had probably six or seven conversations with women. Um, about mm. our that we we had a conversation about last week. Um, and I expect the same thing this week. So, ladies, you know, as always, our inboxes are open. Um, you know, you could call, you could text, you know, whatever you need. We here for you. Um, in the times that we are in today, hug a man, tell him you love him, hug a black yeah. man, tell him you love him, yeah. tell him yeah. you appreciate him. Um, the world is hard on our men right now. Um, and we got to be strong for them, which means we got to be strong for each other. Um, which is why Kia and I are doing what we're doing. Um, just for Freedom Friday to let our head down after a hell of a week. Um, and we yeah. as we get a chance to do this often. Um, Pre-COVID, right? You have a whole lot of planning to be able to go out and be able to hang out yeah. with your friends. Um, and thanks to technology, we can do this virtually. Um, so catch us here next Friday. Catch us online throughout the week. Tune in for my shenanigans and fool foolishness. <laughs> you already know how that go. Did you um, actually own the fact that you you have your you, you have these shenanigans? Did you actually own that? That I did what? You own you own the fact that you off the chain. Yeah, I already knew that. I got crack baby tendencies. You already. Right. See, you gonna have to stop saying that. It's offensive. We I don't say we don't say that anymore. Who? Who can't say crack baby tendencies? I'm just saying you can't say tendencies. I can say I got crack baby tendencies. Can't nobody tell me. I can okay. Say well, listen. Well, one quick thing I uh -huh. forgot to tell you. You can you can hurt me later. Well, I think I did tell you. So before we wrap up, my my little cousin has a new book. Remember I was telling you. Yes, oh, yes, 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 the king. So Antoinette Turner actually has a book when we get it, because you know I already ordered ours tea. So um she's a new author, she is young. So for any of you young folk, um like Victorious, um, she has a book called Ready to Be 30. Oh wow, great insight, great advice, Miss Antoinette Turner. So we are going to actually, I think we'll we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth. But I think when we have some good reads, you know, yeah, T and I want to want to share those kind of things with you too, because um, I know sometimes you might be inundated with day to day things and you may not get a chance to, but you can check Antoinette Turner's book out on Amazon. Ready to be thirty. It's a good gift idea. It's only nineteen ninety nine. That's not even that bad. And you can support black businesses, which we should always. I love everything, but I'm, I'm a lover of all of them. But even still. Thank you, Zada. <laughs> don't say, baby. Once you're born with them, you, <laughs> you don't outgrow them. They just get worse. And then, and then they call, then they call it ADHD. That's what they call crack baby tennis. We got ADHD, <laughs> PD, PTSD. THC news. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to look forward to next week. Next week is our wrap up for this series, right? Next week, we're going to be finishing out the series of I Am a Woman. We are going to talk about just what that looks like. What boxes yeah. do you check as a woman? What role yeah. do you play as a woman um, in your life and in the lives of those around you, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're going to dive deep into it. We're going to have some fun with it, though, because I know we ain't got no goddamn sense. I definitely ain't got none. And she losing hers messing with me. So, you know, 
<laughs> by next week, she will by next week she will have to eat. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, she's no, gonna be no, on never. never. She's gonna be in big girl status next never. week. And we're gonna be in the same space. So you guys get to see us next week. Oh yeah. My whole screen. Um, and I'm gonna put on my waist trainer and my snatch um body shaper because they had <laughs> one and I got one, and I'm gonna be nice and slim and trim and ready to be. I am woman and hope I don't pass out from that <laughs> But we shall see. Yeah, it'll be fun. It, it's going to be really fun to be over there with you. And of course, six feet. It will be six feet. No worries. I ain't got nothing. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems either. Right. I don't want no problems either. And on that note, we're going to mellow out. We're going to say peace and love. Peace, love, and hair growth. to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? I love that song. You gonna sing it? Girl, I cannot sing. I don't know why you be trying to play. <laughs> That's rough. That's Thank you guys for coming. Yes. Have an amazing weekend on purpose. On purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Oh, that's my jam. I miss Whitney. Oh, yeah. Bobby, I love you. Bobby. All right, we gotta let's turn that up, see. You got to turn that up. We got, we got a couple minutes. We got a couple minutes. Yeah, party. Is, is that loud enough? I like that. Uh, R.I.P. Whitney Houston. Oh my God, don't show that. I can show it. Ah, don't show it. I got to crop out the nipples. That's why, that's why the ticker thing is covering the nipples. That's right. That's what I wanted. So now they can't block it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. We love you. See you guys. Be safe. Catch All right. Bye. Bye.